Hi everyone, you've probably noticed over the last few weeks that I've made a couple of lamps and I've really enjoyed making them. So for this week's episode, I'm going to do another one, but this time we're going to use cellophane. So there was a couple of reasons that I chose cellophane this week. One is it's got some really cool colours and the other one is that when it heats up it should shrivel which is really unusual because normally when things heat up they expand and when things get cold they shrivel. Now I know that when resin's curing it gives off a lot of heat but I'm not too sure if that's going to be enough to cause it to shrink. Let me see if I can give you an example. That's pretty cool, hey? Now obviously we got this effect with an open flame, but I'm really hoping that we can get something similar with our hot curing resin. Now before I start mixing any resin, the first thing we need to do is cut up our cellophane. This is definitely a lot easier to cut than last week's paracord. While I was cutting all this cellophane, I was having to think of how much I'd actually need. Now this is the container that I'll be casting in, and the problem is that if I use too much cellophane and the heat doesn't shrink it, it's going to be very crowded. And then on the other hand, if I don't use enough and the heat does shrink it, it's going to look very empty. So I think maybe the best thing I need to do is just put enough in where it's not too full and not too empty and hopefully we'll be okay. I was thinking about adding a bit more in, but I think that's enough. I'm gonna go pop this in the pressure pot.
While the cellophane blank is curing in the pressure pot, I'm pouring myself another blank. But I'll explain a bit more about this one later. Now if you guys can guess what I'm using it for, let me know. It's now the next day and it's time to pull out the cellophane blank. I really enjoy pulling blanks like this out of the pot. You just never know what you're going to get. Well, after having a good look at it, I still don't know what I got. I can see that the cellophane shriveled, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you guys got to see that on pot cam. But apart from that, it's quite dark. We're not going to know the full potential of this blank until we turn it, stick a hole in it and light it up. So does anyone know why I made this second blank? Let me give you a hint. On my last lamp, I made the base out of wood, so I thought this time it might be a nice change to do a resin one.
In addition to changing how I made the base this week, I also changed the way I finished the shade. I painted the inside white. Well, I gotta admit, I'm really enjoying this lamp series, and I hope you are too. Now, if you have any suggestions as to what lamp you want me to make next, let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps my channel grow. Now, let's check out this lamp. 